Hi everyone and welcome to Golf Gym Studios. I'm Arlen Bento Jr. and I'm here with Ken Pierce, owner and developer of Golf Gym. How you doing everybody? And today we're going to be giving you some great information about the death moves in the golf swing. Now for many years I've been a coach, instructor, I've helped many people improve their golf games. And people always ask me, how do you hit the ball so far? And I tell them, it's kind of like a little joke. Yeah, and he does hit it really far, by the way. Swing faster. And they look at you with that puzzled look. And what I've kind of come across over all these years of helping all these people is there are three moves that I've identified that will absolutely kill distance in the golf swing. And I call them death moves. Mm -hmm. And today what we're going to do is we're going to identify these death moves. We're going to show them to you. And hopefully you'll have some understanding of these things that are going to always kill distance and power in your swing. So I'm going to have Ken set up. The first death move is over the top. And I'm going to have Ken be down the line. And I'm going to have him take the club to the top of his golf swing. And I'm going to show everybody what over the top really means. And that's when the club from this position starts down and comes over the swing line to start the transition into the downswing. And this is very, very common in most players because our instinct is to actually do this naturally. We'll put the club down for a second. I want to tell people, you know, a lot of people ask me, why do I keep doing it? And I always say it's because it's our instinct to kind of bring the club down quicker from the top. It's just something mm -hmm. that we do. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to show this move one more time. And this is the first death move that we're going to kind of talk about in our, in our video today. So Ken's going to get up to the top of the swing. And here's the death move over the top. Okay? And that's very, very common for a lot of people. See how that brings the club way across the swing plane and way across that impact line? Okay. Yeah. The second death move we're going to show today is called casting. And I'm going to have Ken face the camera because it's a lot easier to see what a cast looks like. And a cast and the overtop kind of connect a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's definitely its own death move in itself, yeah. okay? So Ken's going to get to the top of the swing. And the cast is when this angle, which is great, is released and the club is cast. See how he takes his wrist, he casts it down as he brings the club into the downswing and then somehow tries to figure out how to get it into impact. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, casting is, the word is, it's like fishing, you know, when you cast, you cast like. Right, and it's, and it's when you lose the angle in your wrist and you, and you use your hands and it eliminates so many uh, really good power positions, but if you cast, you're going to be in trouble for distance and speed. Okay. All right. Now, the, the third move um, that's part of this death moves or these death moves that I'm talking about is where people, as they get the club into impact, don't use their hips and they stand up to make the strike at the golf ball. And this is also very common. And you see this a lot with people that have the over the top and have the cast because there's no way for them to get into a really good, powerful position. Right. Okay. So I'm going to have Ken go all the way to the top. He's going to mimic the over-the-top cast move. And as he comes into impact, he's going to rise up. And there's no hip rotation. And his body rises up, losing all of his power, all of his strength. Everything that you're going to do in the golf swing to hit the ball hard is gone. Mm -hmm. Okay? We'll show it one more time. All the way up to the top. Here's the over move. Here's the cast. And here's the stand up. Yeah. Yeah. So those of you that are watching this, I want to review it again real quick. Three death moves. Over the top, casting, and then coming into impact, not using your hips, and standing up. If you're doing any one of these three things, you're giving up tons of distance, and you're going to be giving up all kinds of power and speed in the golf swing. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you real soon. Take care.